Hello, everyone, and welcome to Connecting the Dots with Dr. Shai. So I had a patient who came in with an A1C of about 11. But a few months before that, his A1C was around 7. And before we went over his labs, he started to tell me that, you know, he didn't feel so well, even though he felt like he was eating healthier now. And as we talked more, though, I learned that by eating healthier, he had been on a smoothie diet. And not only that, the smoothie was filled with fruit, with um, fruits. So he was eating smoothie for breakfast, smoothie for lunch, and then a small dinner, and mainly with a lot of sweet fruits. So here he was thinking that, you know what, I'm doing myself a favor, I'm eating very healthy, I'm eating mostly fruits. But unfortunately, he was actually consuming a ton of sugar, and that made his blood sugars go really high, went from an A1C of 7 to 11, and um, he was feeling really bad. So today I'm going to be talking about three tips to ensure that your blood sugar is balanced and try to um, address some of the um, things that people do that, you know, may cause some confusion in terms of healthy eating. So try to address some of the questions that people may have concerning uh, balanced sugar. So this is Connecting the Dots with Dr. Shai. I'm Lola Shai, I'm a family medicine and lifestyle medicine doctor and owner of InTouch Primary Care. And we offer stress-free health care with direct access to the doctor so that our patients can get the care they need the care um, they want when they need it without the inconveniences and delay of the traditional healthcare system. So now it's open enrollment, and I know people are thinking about healthcare. So this is a good time to make an appointment with us. You can do a free 15 minutes um, visit on our website and learn more about how you can take advantage of the care that we provide. Okay, so let's get into it. First of all, I was talking about the patient earlier, and um, one of the misconceptions that people have is that when they eat fruits, um, eating a lot of fruits is healthy. It doesn't matter how much fruits they eat. They can eat as much fruit as they want. And some people can, depending on, you know, if they have, if their blood sugar levels are okay. But really, fruits do have a lot of sugar and that a lot of fruits are sweet. And especially now with people juicing and making smoothies and all kinds of things, it's very easy to eat a lot of fruits in a very short time, and that will give you a huge sugar boost. So which is exactly what happened to this patient who thought he was eating healthier. And I've seen this happen over and over again with other people, maybe not as big of a jump in their blood sugar levels, but a significant jump when they think they're eating healthy because they're doing, usually it comes from juicing or smoothies um, because it's really, is much more difficult to eat fruit in its natural form, um, to eat a lot of it in its natural form. Like it's difficult to sit down and eat four apples at once, two bananas, three pears, you know, five oranges. You can't, it's very difficult to do that, but you can juice that or you can put that in a smoothie and you can drink that all day and you'll be fine, right? So that's the issue that people are able to ingest so much sugar in such a short period of time. And, you know, they can think that they're eating healthy by doing that. So just be aware that when you want to maintain a balanced blood sugar, you need to be aware of how much fruit that you're eating. Don't. It's good to try to eat fruit. It's best in its raw, natural form. Smoothies are okay, at least to get the fiber content, but just be aware of how much sweet fruits you put in a smoothie. And then if you are, the best idea is to combine vegetables with fruits in your smoothie so that you're not getting a ton of sugar. Ideally, we want to get about eight servings, different people say different, but it's five to eight servings of fruit per day. But it depends on the person. There are people with, who have high blood sugar levels already, and so you probably don't want to be doing that. So you want to check with your doctor. Okay, so that's the first tip. You can eat too much fruit, so be careful about how much you're consuming at once. 
The second tip for uh, maintaining a balanced blood sugar is one that I've talked about before, but bears uh, mentioning again, and that is sleep. So some people don't realize how much sleep affects our blood sugar, but during sleep, one of the things that happen, there's a hormone called leptin, and leptin is what makes you feel full so that you're not hungry when you've eaten. So when you don't sleep, you do not produce that hormone called leptin so that when you wake up, because you don't have enough of that, you start to crave more food. And usually your body will crave things that can give you energy as soon as possible. So it tends to be things that are sweet so that you can get the energy boost that you need because you're sleepy, you're tired, you didn't get enough sleep the night before. And so it becomes a cycle, right? So it's really important that understanding something as simple, but maybe not always easy to get asleep, can really be powerful in maintaining um, blood sugars. And it's shown that even people that have diabetes, by sleeping, um, they actually increase their insulin sensitivity so that they don't need as much insulin. So sleep is really important. And so that's another way to naturally keep your blood sugar balanced, regardless of whether you have prediabetes, diabetes, or your blood sugars are normal. So the last tip I'm going to share today for keeping, maintaining a balanced blood sugar naturally is physical activity. So strength training in particular. So studies have shown that people with diabetes on insulin can actually also increase their insulin sensitivity to insulin when they're consistently physically active. Thing about it is physically physical activity, especially when you do strength training, increases the muscle quality and then the muscle burns calories and it helps your body continue to burn more calories up to two to three days after the muscle strengthening activities. So by doing muscle strengthening activities, you're not only burning calories at the moment, your body continues to burn calories even after you're done. And so that is a very, very um, huge benefit of strength training activities. So when I say strength training, you don't have to do anything um, too complicated, right? You can literally just get some dumbbells. You can get those online. They can be one or two pounds to start off with. with. Don't do too much too fast. Just do, you know, a few reps, 10 to 15 to start off with and see how you do with that. And then if you are doing well on that, you can increase how often you're doing it or you can increase the number of reps. But you want to try to engage your muscles because that does help you burn calories, which also helps with and also helps with increasing insulin sensitivity and keeps you, um, which helps you have a balanced um, glucose level. So those are the things I wanted to share today. Number one, you can eat too much fruit, so be careful with that. Number two, sleep is really important, including important in maintaining a healthy blood sugar level. And number three, physical activity, particularly strength training, is helpful in maintaining a balanced blood sugar. So you can start doing any of those three or all those three today if you would like to prevent prediabetes or diabetes, manage prediabetes or diabetes, reverse prediabetes or diabetes, all those things will help with that. Okay, and if you're in the Houston area and you're looking for a doctor who is proactive about your care, you can check us out on our website, www.intouchprimarycare.com. Our model of care is very different. It allows direct, easy access with same next business day appointments um, to our members and um, really just personalized care. So I hope you do start doing one of those things we talked about. Let me know in the chat if you do, if you decided to, you know, watch the number of fruits that you're eating or stopped eating so many fruits thinking that you're eating healthy. Um, if you incorporated more vegetables, that will be also good. Um, if you are now sleeping better, making sleep a priority, getting the seven to eight hours that is recommended, or if you stay engaging in physical activity, particularly strength training, and even 10 minutes of physical activity goes a long way. All right, until next time.
I hope that helps. Have a good rest of the day.